I work a lot in using theatre and film and radio in terms of bringing human rights issues um, out into the public. Um, so I work in human rights and political issues and I think that the use of art is incredibly valuable because it takes the issues out of the textbook, it gives you the opportunity to do visual images and it turns what could be quite dry information into quite emotional, um, into an emotional experience for people. This exhibition was challenging because of its, uh, its depth of emotion and feeling around the issue that it's portrayed and that's where it's quite difficult. I think it's also about trying to also go beyond the image and beyond text. That was the, the challenge, I think, is to try and create the mood and um, to create the emotional kind of uh, background, the space in which you can actually then meet the experience in a very powerful way. You know, an exhibition is about moving through different spaces, experiencing different things. It's unlike a book or something, or something on the internet, or watching a film, where, you know, it's quite, um, the, the viewer is quite uh, passive in a way. It's like working, walking through passages, walking through spaces, which then does actually work for us in terms of this subject because it is about the transience of people's lives through passages through cross borders. So that's where, in a way, it did work. Well, seeing school children coming through was really amazing because one thing I know for sure, you can only educate a person when they're still kids. When they've grown up, it's hard. So seeing the school kids coming, asking questions, wanting to know much about this and uh, I was impressed with uh, one school that came from Brownfontein. The kids were coming here each and every day. They were coming back wanting to know more about the exhibition, wanting to know more about other countries and that was a positive thing for me. Also the power of this place, I think, already gave that kind of um, way into that depth of feeling that we needed to capture. The, co the combination of the visual and the, 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 the script worked powerfully because in my book I got many comments of people saying that they are really moved and touched by this. The room with the stories that people have told and have shared about the experiences in the countries of origin that they've left, and they've left due to war, due to famine, due to wide-scale abuse against women. And those stories are extremely personal. We decided rather than print out the stories, we got different people to write the stories. I was trying to uh, get a feeling of sadness and emotion because the stories uh, are sad. Uh, but I didn't want to make people read the stories to feel that sadness. I wanted them to get into this room and feel that sadness and a little bit of sorrow through just walking through these stories. As you can see, they are hanged, you know, on different lengths. Handwriting uh, is different and, you know, uh, and stories are from different people as well. So the handwriting kind of uh, represents uh, those people because uh, they have different handwritings, big ones, small handwritings. And you know, some stories people have to stand there and read. They can actually even grab the page and read it thoroughly. I'm a Zimbabwean you New York. Across the border, it's always difficult. And coming through to South Africa is always difficult. So it gives me much ideas on how, many, uh, how people cross the borders and how, how uh, the suffering they have always when they cross the border. You know, South Africa just had uh, their li its liberation, freedom, and foreigners just came before we even taste the, you know, the liberation and freedom. 
but from working on this exhibition I kind of understand you know some of the foreigners that come here because I don't think all of them come with those issues some they just come looking for greener pastures yeah, I feel so uh Touched, must, must. We decided not to go the route where we made the photographs big and glossy. We decided to do smaller photographs so that when people engage with the photographs, they have to really walk up to the photographs and engage at a very personal level. Going through the exhibition myself and taking people through made me myself realize that we are one and Seeing people that are coming from the exhibition going out with a changed mind really uh, made me realize that we need something like that, like this, in order to make a world a, a better place. And it shows the power of art into any space of our life. It's not an intellectual exercise. I think it's more like trying to, as I said, find that kind of mo emotional. To, to, uh, like a gut emotional level that we're trying to get at rather than an intellectual. It's not appealing to the intellect, it's appealing to the emotion, I think. I think there's a, a strong tendency, particularly from international organisations, from humanitarian organisations, to underestimate the power of art in moving people's perceptions. And I think that that's the power of an installation, that you can reach the emotions as well as give information to people. And what you really want to do is not to have a pretty picture, but to change the way people thought about an issue.